Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute shorts pattern. And as a matter of fact, you can use this pattern and upcycle an old t-shirt too. Pretty awesome. For this project, you will need the following. For this project, you will need three quarters of a yard of jersey knit fabric. By the way, you can upcycle a t-shirt if it's big enough. One inch elastic in the correct length for the size. You can refer to sizes on fleecefun.com. A jersey ballpoint needle. A double jersey ballpoint needle, and that's optional. And of course, sewing essentials, pins, needles, sewing machine, you know, that sort of thing. All right, now that you have all those materials, it's time to assemble the pattern and start cutting it out. Step one, assemble and cut out the free shorts sewing pattern. Assemble the free short sewing pattern. Instructions can be found on fleecefun.com's channel. Once the pattern is assembled, cut it down to the size you want to make it in. On doubled cloth, cut out two of the shorts pattern. Be sure to mark the back with a pin or a pen. If you want to upcycle a t-shirt, I want to show you a quick little trick. Fold the pattern up an inch at the bottom. Then place the pattern at the bottom of the t-shirt where the finished edge is and line it up. Then cut out the pattern. The nice part is if you do it this way, the bottom of the shorts are already finished. All right, now that you have those items cut out, it's time to start sewing and it's really easy. Step two, begin to sew the shorts. Now it's time to start making the shorts. Flip the fabric so right sides are touching. Do this if you're making the t-shirt version, make sure the finished seams are touching. Using a 3 8 seam allowance and a stretch stitch, sew the rise of the shorts. I use an overlock stitch on my machine, but a zigzag stitch will work fine. Follow these same steps if you're doing the t-shirt upcycle. Okay, so I know we're in the middle of the video, but I want you to just take a second and let me know what is your favorite t-shirt? Like what is your all-time favorite t-shirt? Because we all have one, like that one t-shirt that you wore to death. I want to know what it is. Step three, sew the inner seam to the shorts. Take the shorts and fold them so the two seams you just sewed are touching, right sides touching. Sew the inside leg seam using a 3 8 seam allowance and a stretch stitch. Again, overlock or a zigzag. Follow these same steps with the t-shirt shorts. All right, now this step with the waistband, you just watch it a few times first so you're familiar with it because it can be a little bit different than what people are used to. People are used to making a casing and then um, kind of threading the elastic through. Doing it this way makes it so it doesn't roll within that casing because it can roll and get bunched up and be uncomfortable. So let's try it this way. Step four, add the elastic waistband to the shorts. Fold the elastic band so it forms a loop and that it overlaps one inch. Make sure there are no twists in the loop. Sew down the edges on either edge using a zigzag stitch to make the loop secure. With the front and back seams of the shorts touching, mark the sides of the shorts. Now, mark the elastic band into fourths with pins, one at the front, back, and each side. The seams on the shorts serve as markers, so now the elastic and the shorts are marked evenly into fourths. Place the elastic around the shorts. The elastic is smaller than the kid's shorts top. Line up with the marker pins. With the elastic touching the wrong side of the fabric, sew the elastic to the shorts using a stretch stitch. Pull the elastic taut so it is the same length as the shorts fabric. Continue to do this all the way around the shorts. Now remember how I had you mark the back? You can place a little piece of folded over ribbon to mark the back if you choose. Fold the band over so you can't see any elastic. We need to sew the band into place, pulling it taut using the same technique of pulling and sewing as used above. This time, flip the shorts right side out and top stitch using a regular straight stitch along the edge of the elastic. This entire process is the same if you decide to upcycle a t-shirt. Step five, finish making the shorts. 
All right, now I will tell you a secret. If you've used a t-shirt, your the bottoms are done. That's it, like, whew, nicely done. Um, if you didn't use a t-shirt and it's just raw on the bottom, you don't have to sew it because it's knit. It will just roll up a little and be fine. Or if you want it to look nice, if that's very important to you, you can turn the cuffs under an inch and sew with a double needle and finish it very pretty and very nicely. Turn under each leg one inch and sew using a zigzag stitch or a double needle. For this tutorial, I opted to use a zigzag stitch and it looks great. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. All right, that's it. And this size, it comes in um, a huge array. So, you know, all your kids can have shorts this summer. It'll be great. All right, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video for my hard work. I sure do appreciate it. And also be sure to check out fleecefun.com for more awesome sewing tutorials just like this one.